the second part of this whole chapter is called the center of gravity. Now, the definition of center of gravity is the point through which the entire weight of the object appears to act. Or you can say alternatively, the point on which an object can be balanced in an unofficial definition. Imagine um, if you had a plate in your house and you needed to balance it on one finger, perhaps to show off. So, where would you balance it? Would you put your finger here on the side? I don't think so. The obvious common sense would be to put your finger right in the middle to attempt to balance the plate, giving equal weight distribution on both sides, on all sides. And that would be the rough definition of its center of gravity. For regular objects, the center of gravity is at its geometrical center. Like this octagon is at the center, like this square is at the center. Circle at the center, this cube at the center as well. Then we have some interesting things like a wheel or a donut. See that if it's a wheel or a donut, the center of gravity is actually in the middle of the hole, which is interesting because the center of gravity is not on the object itself. It can also be located outside the object. It's important to note that for a uniform meter rule, like we have mentioned before, the center of gravity is located at its geometrical center at the 50 cm marking. So in the examinations, if they write down it's a uniform meter rule, you are expected to know that the center of gravity is at the center at the 50 cm marking. They do not need to tell you. Okay, so now let's come to irregular objects. Let's say a rock. How do you find the center of gravity of a rock? This is difficult, right? Because it's kind of in an odd shape. So um, there is a way to find center of gravity of these objects. Okay, so now we're going to tell you how. The center of gravity is formed by using a plumb line, a thread with a weight attached to one end. So when a freely suspended object comes to a rest, let's say you're holding something with a piece of paper with one corner, the center of gravity will be directly below the pivot. The center of gravity will always swing such that it ends up directly below the pivot. Imagine an irregular object like this, like an unevenly cut piece of paper. Okay, so the first thing to do it would be to select any point along the edge of the plane and pin it on the wall or, uh, or clip it so that it swings freely on a retort stand. Now, you let the paper swing freely and let it come to a complete stop. Now the next, step three. Wherever you pinned it, you, you hang a plumb line at exactly that place, at the place of the pin. Then you let the plumb line swing and let it come to a complete stop as well. Now, this plumb line has a weight over here, therefore the weight will pull down and the line, the center of gravity of the plumb line would be directly below the pivot, which is at A. So mimic how this object over here, this irregular object has swung itself and the center of gravity is also somewhere below A. Therefore, we can draw a pencil line using a ruler on the plane through the pinhole and we follow the plumb line downwards. So like this, we know that the center of gravity of this irregular object is actually somewhere along this line. Now, is this good enough? Absolutely not, because the center of gravity of an object is not a line, but a point. So the next step we have is to select one or two other points along the edge of the plane like B and C. We pick like somewhere like two other points. Now we use these and we repeat steps two to four again, where firstly, we attach the object by B, let it swing freely. And then we attach a plumb line, let it swing freely, let both of them stop. And then you draw another line down the plumb line. Do it once again with C, let it swing again, let it stop, let it C, let it stop, and then draw a line through again until you get a total of three lines on the plane. The second line is to get the point. The third line is to confirm. And then step six is to mark the point where all three of the lines cross. If you did it correctly, if you let them swing completely freely, all three of the lines should meet at one point. And this point will be confirmed as the center of gravity of the plane.